Beyond Meat mukbang. Let's do this right for today. I have an awesome mukbang. The fattest burger I've ever possibly had in my life. Hope y'all doing well. So, I got some honey barbecue sauce, Dorito chips, got some fries. I got a fat burger here. Like when I say fat, you're looking at a $12 burger just alone. This is probably $16, $17 if you had to go to um, in and out some stuff. So I got some cranberry juice. I thought, you know what? Get something different, you know. Every time the same drink, Coca-Cola or iced tea. Let's get a different drink. So I got this. I had a sip of this. Trust me, it ain't bad. Um, but damn, am I hungry? <laughs> I have no clue how I'm about to eat this burger. I'm going to be so messy. I mean, it's dripping from the sides and that, so it's awesome. Let's do this. Okay, let's start with the fries. Mm. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. <laughs> this is massive. Mm. I'm just about to get missed. Oh, wow. It's a vegetarian burger. However, the meat is vegan. Well, that's not really me. But, well, I'm gonna have to cut this in half. This is really difficult. Anyways, 500 likes in the first hour. Let's see if we can do it. So, anyways, hope y'all doing well today. Like I said, I got some fries. Mmm. This is gonna get messy. I'm gonna have to cut this one. Now, unfortunately, they didn't sell burger buns at the Albert Heim, which is kind of weird in my opinion. But hey, it's all good, man. It's all good. Oh, wow, look at that. I just dripped some on my laptop. It's all fine. We don't care, man. I don't know if I have to see how I'm going to eat this. This is difficult, man. I got to put the fries away. It's dripping everywhere. A double cheeseburger. Oh wow. The flavor in these burgers, man. The honey barbecue sauce definitely adds a flavor. This is American barbecue sauce. None of that fake replicated stuff. And it's so juicy. Hmm. For vegan patty is crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Now, like I said, why is it so expensive? These are the award-winning burgers. Um, they cost like eight dollars for like two patties. I know it's ridiculous, but it's worth the money. If you ever see this in the store, I highly recommend you guys getting one. Even if you are a meat lover. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. You just have to make the perfect right burger with eggs and stuff on top. Wow. But can we appreciate that cheddar cheese? That's good cheddar cheese, man. It's actually better cheese than the, than the regular one I have from the different store, you know. Um, I normally get my products from the Jumbo, but however, the Jumbo does not sell these, which is kind of strange. I'm in shock. It's that good. Oh wow. So anyway, let's talk. Four minutes plus in the video just eating. So, my grandmother has currently arrived. She actually came yesterday, well two days ago. Sounds really weird in that sense, but you get what I mean. She came two days ago from England in the Netherlands right now. Mmm. And um, my next mukbang will highly likely be with her. Mukbang with my grandmother. Very, very cool. So, nonetheless, um, I've been trying to sell my vape for the past couple of days. And it's f 
fucking irritates me that people waste my time. Yo, bro, I'm trying to get your vape. Never mind. My friend already has a vape. I'm like, my man, you want to buy it or not? I've got a customer from America. He's willing to pay uh, $50. I just have to send him my paper today. And hopefully he pays me the same day. Because um, it's irritating when I'm trying to sell my vape, trying to get rid of it. Kind of trying to make a few bucks. Because the thing is, I don't mind sending it to the UK. Um, but in America, I have to charge more because I, I, I have to pay like $15 shipping, which is ridiculous. It's expensive. And th when we're talking about normal shipping, we're not even talking about the high tech. The high tech is like 30, 40, 50. Ridiculous. But it's what it is, you know. So yeah, I asked people on my Snapchat yesterday, hey, if you're interested in buying my vape, I'm selling it for $50, and then I'm paying shipping, which is 15 you know, but I have a customer, well, a guy who's interested in willing to pay 50 bu bucks, like I said, I just had to send him my paper, then it should be good, wow, now the weird thing is, the gherkin adds a lot of flavor as a, to a burger as well, I know in America, when, when I went there, in Florida at least, mm, the weird thing is, the place you know florida like disneyland they didn't sell fries um when you ask for chips they give you fucking chips they're like i was like what when i ask for chips i ain't asking for a, a shitty little bag of doritos i'm asking for fries they don't i don't know if they think i don't think in america they know what chips or fry refer to uh but yeah we got these and i was kind of I, I wasn't annoyed i was like Surprised, because me thinking here, surely they know what fries are, right? Like chips. We call them chips here. Um, for example, when we say a small of chips, we get a small portion of fries. Um, but yeah, in America, we literally got a bag of chips. I was like, you're cheapskates. <laughs> it has to do with, with, with cost. You can't tell me anything else. Fries are really easy and freshly to make. Uh, it just takes a while. Mmm. But well, I didn't sell fries at all. Very strange. Like I said, I don't know if there's a specific reason behind not selling fries to the public. Um, but yeah, it was very vague. And the only thing that was really, really, also really whack, they had no vegetarian options. Yeah, they had the Caesar salad there, but chicken, burrito, chicken. But saying that the burrito wrap, was really good at the time when I wasn't a vegetarian, right? Everything tasted good before I became vegetarian, you know? Um, yeah, it's really cool. Honestly, I'd love to go back to America. Um, it's fucking boring in the Netherlands, at least for me. You know, if you're an outsider, you'd probably love the Netherlands, Amsterdam, Rotterdam. I hate it. I, I don't like people here. They're boring, man. They're very grumpy, ungrateful for everything. Trust me, we Dutch people are ungrateful for everything. And when I say everything, we complain about the smallest little things. Which is kind of true. We're known for, for, for moaning a lot, you know. As in Nederlands ben, weet ik wat over dat. But yeah, we went to Florida. Um, and I don't know if I told you guys this before, but... However, we met this guy... Yeah, it was a black guy, by the way, um, a Florida, and we were gonna go on this like boat trip, you know, and me, my parents were talking to him, and I was talking to him as well, I was very, very young, and eventually the guy gave me, I don't remember his name, I don't even know what he looked like, um, but he gave me five dollar cents, and he said, throw it in the pond to make a wish, so then I thought, you know what, I took this money away, <laughs> I'm keeping it, so I actually, I actually kept the money, um, I don't know if I have the five cents anymore. I really don't know what I did with it. I may have stuck it up my bottle. I don't know, <laughs> okay? But a funny fact is my, my brother did find a coin out, out of 1945. Not sure if it's worth any money. Not sure if he even still has it. Fun fact, my brother also met someone on the airplane. Uh, a guy that he, I think, did this day. his name is Jesse, I think. If I'm not mistaken, his name was Jesse. On our, back, on our way back home. Hmm. <laughs> So on our way back home, mm. huh? 
was awesome, actually really cool. My brother was sitting next to this guy, and I, I could have sworn he was, his name was Jesse, but none of this. They said hi to each other, very random, you know, people n normally don't say hi to each other. But they did, so anyway. Mm. <laughs> they exchanged numbers. And now my brother isn't gay, he's not bisexual, he's straight, he's married for all your information before you're hitting him up in the end. Oh my god, he's single, oh he's so hot. Ready, just making sure. <laughs> uh, he's married to this day. But he still talks to him. I, I don't know actually, I need to, I'm gonna ask him this week if he still talks to the guy. I, I could have sworn his name was Jesse, but if it wasn't, um, I don't know what he looked like, I don't know. But it's very cool. Because I know, I know my brother told me two, three years ago. That they still have, wish each other happy birthday, this and that. Merry Christmas, which is very, very cool. Keep in contact with someone outside. Because it's quite far away, you know, in the Netherlands and America. It's long. Especially if you live close to Canada. Like the border. That's far. It's tough. But yeah. Wow. I literally demolished this burger. Now, I forgot to tell you. The burger was based on vegan bread. Uh, based on a vegan meat well, vegan plant-based, a patty, some tomato, uh, lettuce, gherkin. And then the only thing that wasn't vegan were actually two things, which people often argue about. Um, the cheese was vegetarian, but I was like, a vegan cheese does exist, but it's, dis it's disgusting, at least in my opinion. I've had it before. I don't like the smell, and I don't like the taste of it. So I'm sticking with real cheese, and it's got to look some fun for the mukbang as well. But uh, yeah, anyways. Um, and then this is a thing that people argue about a lot in society. If honey is vegan. Um, honey, a lot of people look at bees as insects, living organisms, animals. I, I want to say as well, bees are animals, but people ref prefer them to insects. Uh, but honestly, let me know down in the comments, do you think bees are insects, animals, or living organisms, you know? Um, yeah, the weird thing is, when you look on the package of this sweet baby race, you know, the waxing is, it says gluten-free, however, it does not stand or say anything vegan-free. Um, so I really wonder, is bee vegan? F free, you know, if you know what I mean? Um, it's a lot of things, but, uh, yeah, you can argue that, uh, the only thing that wasn't vegan is obviously the Dorito chips, it's got milk and it's got, uh, cheese in it, but cheddar cheese, you know, uh, the fries are vegan. But the fun fact is, I, I eat a lot of vegan stuff, I think you guys know a lot of that, uh, I don't just only eat vegetarian, so like cheese and stuff, uh, I eat a lot of vegan stuff, uh, I don't... Well, fun fact, I actually hardly drink any milk. I don't actually like milk at all. I, I don't like the smell and the taste. Yeah, I, I hate it, just keeping it real. I don't like taste the taste of milk. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. I'll try to see if my next mukbang could be an a, um, a mukbang with my grandmother. And I've had people question me, Oh my god, how are you and your crush doing? Couldn't give a single fuck. I'm just being very honest. We don't have contact anymore. We haven't seen each other fact, in like three weeks. Um, cause the weird thing is when, uh, we saw each other last time was the, the day we recorded the mukbang, you know, mukbang with my crush. The last time she ever spoke, well, hit me up and said, hey, uh, we're in Thingwajig, you wanna hang out, you want me to pick you up? Uh, very vague, but I kinda knew it was coming already. Got a lot of fake friends, man, a lot of fake motherfuckers in this world, you gotta be careful about that, man. Uh, but yeah, I just initially just started to get irritated, but... I didn't see the point of snapping each other if, you know, if you're not going to hit me up anymore to go meet and do some stuff. Then I don't want to talk to you. Just keep keeping it very honest. There's no point in keeping contact if you don't want to do stuff anymore. That's just how I am. That's just, that's just kind of how I look at it. Not, not, at least, you know. Um, but uh, I eventually sent her a picture of my cat's asshole. <laughs> don't ask me why. I just thought, you know what? I'm in a good mood. Let's send her my, my cat's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she blocked me. Then I did it three times again on other accounts, and then she blocked me again, which is great. Uh, but <laughs> fun story, I guess. Friendships don't last long, especially when you've got an image, unfortunately. Uh, or just beside. Yeah, it is kind of true. It's kind of sad, but yeah, it is what it is. 
But I, I didn't mind meeting up with her. I really didn't. I had fun when it lasted. I just thought, you know, I have to meet people eventually. I'm so anti-social, staying at home all the time, just recording videos, not socializing with people. Not like I have to do any of them, but it is good once in a while socializing with people. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of people asking me, hey, what do you want to become as an animal? Um, thinking of animal protection. Fuck it, it may not actually make a lot of money. It may, in fact, not even make me anything. But that's all right, man. I don't care about that money at this point. Because um, if I've got to be honest, man, money doesn't make you happy. I've come after that. Um, it's nice to have money, obviously. I mean, you can buy stuff, lavish stuff, stuff you don't really need. But I can't buy you a good heart. I can't buy you love. I can't buy you friendship. I can't buy you genuine stuff. Uh, so, yeah, just me keeping it really honest with you guys. Uh, but yeah, nah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang, nonetheless. I'll definitely hit, let you guys know from the week when, I'm, when I try to go and um, go to some animal shelters. And hopefully I get accepted. <laughs> I tried to do this shit three years ago and um, it didn't go because some some stuff, you know. Uh, but yeah, no, nah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Like I said, if you really enjoyed this mukbang, definitely hit a like. Uh, my next mukbang will be a mukbang with my grandmother, hopefully, if she feels like it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. By the way, my next ASMR will be ASMR with protection. So yeah, see y'all later, man. Virgins, peace.